Welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo! How you doing? Good. What are we pointing at them for? Because if I have to work one more day, it's over for all of you. <laughs> There's only us in this room. I feel very much so like this. And it's like, no, no. No, no, no. No, it's this starts here. Yeah. No, no. That's me currently. Yeah, I feel that. That's me currently. But good news. You finished. I thought you were going to finish my sentence. Sorry. Oh. You finished your audio book. Yep. She's done. <laughs> Pack her up. Pack Party's her up. over. Yeah, she's done. I finished recording today. And it was a hoot. It was... It was... Honestly, it wasn't nearly as taxing as I thought it was going to be. But I also... You love talking, so... Is what it is. <laughs> Worked out in my favor. And what? Um, I am exhausted, though. And... It's funny because uh, the director that works was working with me directly. She was like giving me tips on how to preserve my voice. And she was uh, telling me to like drink room temperature water. She told me to get like coat throat or, or like drink tea with honey and agave. And then she was telling me to just avoid ice if I could. Um, like too much, especially in water. And then she was like, and like no carbonation really. And I was like, well, that I can't do. Well, I'm absolutely not cutting out soda if that's what you're insinuating. Yeah, if you thought that I was going to leave my sugar-free ginger ale at the door, you're out of your mind. You're even crazier than I think you than I thought you were. <laughs> You've truly lost it if you think I'm going to do that. Um, I will say though, like, I think throughout like the four days I was recording, let me do something. Yeah, the four days I was recording, I think I had like two sodas, which is pretty good for me. <laughs> call that a win what's your usual like amount that you ingest i would say like one a day but even then oh. i don't even i don't always finish it so only one yeah now yeah oh okay you asked me five years ago yeah, yeah, yeah. we're looking at three or four yeah, at least at minimum three diet cokes a day okay what okay sure um <laughs> yeah no i th it used to be bad but to be fair, I've always drank diet soda, so like it was never I and I only say that because the sugar, like if can you imagine if I was drinking that much soda and it had nothing but sugar in it? Yeah, like you know people like Coca-Cola, that hurts my tummy. Yeah, you're fucking crazy. It hurts my tummy and it makes my teeth feel fuzzy and I hate it. <laughs> I feel like there's drugs in there and I don't like them. The only like non-diet soda that i like have tolerated and i'm like yeah it's not terrible seven it's, up well besides that because even that i have diet seven up okay. but because if i have a regular like a diet sprite like if i have a regular sprite it's over i feel like it all my eyelashes will burn off it's when, I, when i ingest that yeah it's curtains on my night because i'm just laying there going uh <laughs> the rest of the night because all the sugar hurts my fucking stomach because i'm a million years old um, I was going to say Coke Zero. And that I said I've tolerated it. Like, it's not terrible. It's better than regular Coke to me, but it's not just not the same. No, thanks. So anyways, finished my uh, finished my audiobook. Very exciting. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait for you all to listen to it. Hope you enjoy. Uh, she did tell me that I did a really great job and I went pretty fast. So that's. An A plus for a Virgo, period. Which is what you wanted, so. Yeah. Whenever it feels like school, I feel like I need to do well. I need to do well. In fact, I need to be the best they've ever seen. Mm. Which tends to happen. Okay. <laughs> I, when, I was right. texting, when I was texting. Uh, I wish people would ask about my AP test scores more often. <laughs> Did you, write that? you didn't write that in your book? You know, it didn't come up. <laughs> Not sure which chapter that would fit in. <laughs> but I. <laughs> well. You're teaching people how to stand up for themselves, and you're not. The next chapter, I'll be talking about my AP test score. Just one chapter says, I got a four on this one and a five on this the one. The name of it is my, next my AP test scores, and then you just, yeah, you write those two sentences, and then it goes to the next chapter. Yeah, next chapter. Chapter six. <laughs> it's very, uh, oh, when I was texting, um, my art, like, our Phil and Alex, like, manager and agent, uh, they were asking me how it was going. I was like, it's going really well. And she said, I'm super ahead of schedule, which is a, a dub for me. 
and uh my team was like I should have known that you were gonna like go a lot faster and then I was like yeah I want to not work so bad that I'm like nah let's get back in there let's get back in there no breaks no breaks or they're like let's take a 10 minute break and then I break for like two minutes and I'm like okay I'm ready let's get back let's get back in there unless you have to go to the bathroom then I'm taking up at least 15 minutes (laughs) and part of that is me just sitting there you guys don't understand sometimes first of all toilet time's my me time but second of all it's she's always been like that dude yeah since I was a kid and you know what first of all don't diagnose (laughs) me but second of all Sometimes I just want to be alone, and that's, like, where I like to be alone. Like, there's been times where me, Drew, and Billy are doing something. Drew goes, I got to go to the bathroom. And Billy goes, <laughs> and then Billy went, see you in 45 minutes. <laughs> and guess yeah. what? And we laughed. Y'all, because you know what? We'll see you then. You know what? When we first started dating, it was torture having to <laughs> go in and come out immediately. <laughs> the way I felt like I was suppressing a very important part of myself <laughs> of your identity. I had Just to sit on the toilet for you, too long. You know what? I take back everything I've ever said. I did have to dim myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, started dating I had to hide certain parts of me. It's how long she likes to be in the bathroom. It was literally me. This is not when she says I have to go to the bathroom like a little kid. I already know what she has to do. And yeah, and then Billy said see you in 45 minutes and it makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> yeah, real funny. <laughs> you know what it's funny it's like it's less funny when it's like just a fact yeah so hey shut up (laughs) but also i was like that scene in twilight when they're in the in in the closet when they're in the the forest and he was like say it say it out loud Mm -hmm. that that was me to billy when he found out that i need to be in the bathroom by myself for a while (laughs) <laughs> I was like, that was me trying to make myself admit that I was gay. I'm like, and so the lion fell in love with the lamb. <laughs> me going to the bathroom. That's just like where <laughs> I like to be alone. Like sometimes you just want to be alone, and that's where I like to be alone. I guess. Sometimes I'm not even going. I'm just sitting. I guess. Like fully clothed. Like I'm. I'm like sitting on the on the toilet seat, like the top, okay. very top. Just sitting in there. Okay. Some people don't get it. You know, some people called Da Vinci a madman, too. <laughs> <laughs> they said Picasso was a horrible artist. Some people aren't appreciated in their time. Those people added to culture, though. And, and I didn't? Not by sitting on the toilet. Really? Because some of my most popular videos are me sitting on the toilet. Oh, exactly. I guess. Yeah. Let me cook. <laughs> everyone, everyone, and by everyone, I mean everyone in my family that was like, get out of there. That's where your Can best you imagine? Were born. Can you imagine if I gave in to peer pressure and got out of the bathroom? And I got out of the bathroom in a timely manner, and I wasn't allowed to cook. Dude, ever since she was little, like we come home from school and she'd have to go take a dump immediately, and my uncle would time her and be like, "That's enough, get off." Yeah, he'd literally be like, "Time to get out," and I'd be like, "I'm almost done. I'm reading." Because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have phones. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would take. Dude, my favorite things when I was a kid to put in the bathroom like if you needed like reading material when i was a child i used to love the foxtrot comics do you remember those yeah and i used to have big my mom bought would buy me these giant like graphic novels pretty much there's just like hundreds of foxtrot comics yeah and i just really loved reading those yeah the funnies like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she'd read that one or you also liked calvin and hobbs i feel like you had a calvin and Hobbes. i had too. one calvin and hobbs i was no, but it was mostly fan. foxtrot i don't know why that was I your don't favorite know why one. foxtrot was it either well they were also in a family of five too so they had two parents three kids but they were two boys one girl and it's still maybe i felt seen maybe i felt represented <laughs> i listen i'm not gonna apologize for who i am <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for being who I am. For embracing yourself. For real. Anywho, what else is new? Hmm. Um, I started the new... Uh, you guys, I accidentally bought ESPN Plus because I don't understand how to watch sports online. Yeah. Um, And they have a bunch of documentaries on there. And there's one on... Uh, it's like three different basketball players. They're all women's players. Nice. Um, And it's really cool. I started it last night. Kaylin Clark's in it. The hyperfixation continues. Is fam. it called? It's called like full court. Hmm. You're probably really wrong. It's called basketballs. <laughs> That's what I would name it. The game of basketballs, <laughs> <laughs> or just balance system. That's it. 
and i like it it's really good so far <laughs> y'all chat i heard a rumor that some of you think that we are part hispanic oh yeah chat what's going on chat listen to me chat i'm gonna ban everyone who says that from now on <laughs> more so uh well okay hold on a lot of y'all had questions about our sibling tattoos so like specifically the one that says 75 percent Samoan. so we made that joke about how my dad has 100 percent, and we put 75 and so many of you were like wait why 75 because we're only 75 percent. that's why so like our mom is half Samoan, our dad is full that's why so like we're three quarters Samoan, and that other little quarter who gives a fuck? Just kidding. Irish. It's Barry Keoghan. That other, <laughs> that other <laughs> that quarter. That sick little freak. That sick little freak. And like, I'm not talking like East Coast white people that say they're Irish. I'm talking like people that like, they speak Gaelic and shit. Like they have really, really strong accents and they're from Ireland. Like that's my mom's side. My mom's mom's side. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you were asking because some of you were saying you thought my mom was half Hispanic or Mexican because we know so much Spanish. And eat a lot of like mexican food yeah yeah but we just grew up in southern california yeah and we all we took spanish for years our godfather is mexican yeah our godfather is mexican mm -hmm. all of all of our closest friends were mexican growing up mm -hmm. like we grew up alongside mexican culture uh, as kids so that's why we know so much spanish in fact when i was in middle school like before i went to high school i was like developing an accent <laughs> because i was around kids who spoke spanish all the time and my mom was like yeah i gotta get that out of you mostly because it's offensive yeah <laughs> like that's not cool don't talk like that yeah uh, but i we've spoke spanish like we've spoken spanish for a very long time i mean i've been asked if i'm mexican my entire life yeah okay. obviously when yeah. you're uh, like racially ambiguous yeah. too they just kind of you kind of gravitate i always get mexican or filipino yeah yeah. we're also not beating the allegations at all because we know so many things that are so specific to mexican you know, like culture. pico yeah like you freak the salva the sal de uva you sal de uva. we're saying that you eat that you without dry any scoop water it. you dry scoop that shit you just have a bunch of pop rocks going down your That's, throat my stomach already feels like pop rocks now you want me to put more honestly though maybe they're onto something they said it works faster so i am gonna try it i'll yeah. give it a go i'll yeah. give it a whirl but also, like, some of you were like, I saw some of the comments where people were like, there's no way that you guys aren't Mexican, because how do you know about that? <laughs> well, our mom's best friend is Mexican. So That's that, why I said. She honestly showed us what uh, showed us. Some of, our, some of our closest friends and family mm -hmm. are Mexican. That's why. And, like, obviously, we speak Spanish, too. So, like. Yeah, like, we were on FaceTime with Tuffy the other day, and we were telling her <laughs> that we know way more Spanish than we know um, Samoan, which is really funny. Yeah, because she was, obviously, Tuffy's not Mexican, but she's Colombian mm -hmm. and Brazilian. And she speaks Spanish, obviously. And she was telling us something funny that her mom said, but she was just saying it in Spanish. And mm -hmm. we were laughing. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I love that you guys can speak it. I love that you guys understand. Because she was already uh, going to translate it for us. But we understood what she said. Because we speak Spanish. She makes me laugh so much. She makes my the... stomach hurt. Teffy is literally one of the funniest people alive. Yeah. And truly, like, the most, like... Like, if you want to talk about a cool girl, when I think about the coolest it's her. girl alive, it's her. It's Teffy. Like, that, she is really the coolest, most awesome, sweetest angel alive. Love her. Love the, love her so much. What I was going to say. I hope people describe me like that. Me too. Chat. Comment down below how cool you think we are. Chat. Are you doing that? Dude, someone <laughs> tagged us in a TikTok. You know the one that they're like, your honor, she won't stop saying it yeah the two pictures yeah and on the one of the lady was saying chat and they were like ban her like it had all these different things chat comment below a one if you think <laughs> i'm awesome it made me laugh. a lot of you are saying that like you can't believe how long we've been keeping the chat bit going it's because we because we because we do cycle out bits all yeah. the time i think because i don't remember it all the time so then when i do it makes me laugh chat yeah yeah i feel well, like we mostly say it on here i don't feel like we say that to each other do we I say it sometimes. I, I, uh, that's like a, that's like a one that's in my constant rotation, kind of like Alexa. Okay. Like I'll tell Alexa stuff all the time. I don't have an Alexa. Yeah. But I like do. when I say something, yeah. like, like I made one of to Alex the other day, but it was like a Jonas Brothers song. I was, I was I like, that. Alexa, I was play like, Ordinary Girl by Hannah Montana. I was like, Alexa, play Fly With Me by the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
anytime I say anything that sounds like a song, I'll literally call on Alexa. You know, what? yeah, you do. We do. do that That's a lot. funny ass bit. Or if it's like a lyric from that song, I'm like, I'm actually, like, Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, play "Only Human" by the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Dude, the first time we hung with Brittany, she kept saying that and it made me laugh every single time. Yeah, dude. Told you. <laughs> Some people just get it. Dude, and someone was taking a video of us and she goes, can you please put Only Human by the Jonas Brothers over that video? <laughs> so funny, dude. Remember when her whole thing was Peaches? Like she kept going, guys, have you ever heard this song? And it was always That's Peaches. That's how I feel about when Caleb posts about Is It No Brainer by DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I feel like we're going to have a no-brainer summer, guys. And then I go, fucking hate him, dude. <laughs> I want to kill Caleb. He's so annoying. Tell them about the reel he sent you. <laughs> he, sent, he sends me the most antagonistic shit. Like, <laughs> he knows it's going to piss me off if he sends it to me. He sent me one. He said, send this to all the mothers who are failing right now, but they're at, at least they're trying. It was some shit like that. It was a white lady gardening in the mm. back of it. And then I was like, girl, fuck you. And he just sent me a bunch of hoss. <laughs> Why did he send that? That's so funny. Because he knew it was going to piss me the fuck off. <laughs> I was like, you're this close to being fucking blocked. Oh, we have a group chat with Caleb and Brittany. And we were, <laughs> he sent a tweet to us <laughs> that said, uh, people with hot friends are always so annoying and boring. Mm-hmm. And they're like, that's why I'm thankful for my fellow, ug- my, my resident uggos or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And he was like, made me think of you guys and sent it to us. And none of us responded. Wait, did, are we the resident uggos? Yes. Like, oh, he said, I he's... misread it. I thought he was saying we're the hot friends. No, he ended up saying that. But the joke initially was that we're ugly. And he said, but ug- ugly friends are always so funny okay. and always have a great time. And then he said, made me think of you guys. And then and no one responded. <laughs> and then three days later, he was like, I honestly cannot believe none of you responded to this. And you made me look like an actual psychopath. <laughs> and then he goes, this is why I need hot friends. <laughs> and I then, totally misread We were that all text. responding. And then Brittany goes, what did Brittany say? She was like, opens your tweet just blocks your number <laughs> i was like no for real but he's bitch. like that's why we i i love texting the two of them because we just won't talk but i even told like uh, on the show when i filmed with them we talked about that because i was because when like i am trying to get better at responding and which i am too and caleb goes oh yeah i don't give a fuck like the way he'll text us and he'll be like if you guys don't respond to me don't check your mailbox <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes Brittany will be laughing at shit we sent on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and go over to that group chat and answer the fucking other questions. Dude, I asked we you. tell them the story about the guy who was telling us about the guy with the fancy car. Oh my god, no! <laughs> we have to tell them that story, and then okay. we'll get into this episode. Guys, chat. <sighs> I went to something else very interesting and fun in New York that we cannot disclose. Yeah, but it was fun. Anyways. We're there, and we're talking to this guy. It's us, two, and, and Peely. Yeah. So the three of us are sitting there trying to um, only talk to each other, yeah. naturally. <laughs> and that never works, <laughs> which is great. So we we're talking to some other people, and this one guy's talking to us, and he's telling us a story. And, like, if y'all have ever talked to anyone in this industry that's not, like, I don't know, like a Margot Robbie, you're not, like, a, a super, super famous person... But you're also not like you're like in the world, but not if that makes sense. My, in my experience, whenever I talk to people like that, they're either really fucking cool or super fucking annoying. Yeah. Like there's just no in between. They're either awesome or they're awful. It's sure. like there's no in between. So this guy, he was a real big question mark to us. He was kind of in the middle because yeah. he was going back and forth. Like sometimes he was being super fucking annoying, and, and sometimes he'd be he was really being cool. really cool. Yeah. But it's almost like he had to get all of that out of his system because so then he could be really. So cool. then you could be normal because I feel like they just like uh, I don't know. I I think it's just because it's a big dick measuring thing, and he so, was like basically like boasting. Like, yeah, he was just trying to impress us. Yeah. I think like and and not in a way that he thought we were like up there. It was in a way that was kind of like. 
oh, stick stick with me. Like, I'll show you the ropes. It was kind of like that yeah, vibe. Yeah, and I, I always find people like that so interesting because I would kind of compare me and him to be the same. Like, we were both kind of plus ones at that event. Yeah. Um, That would be like if I walked around and I talked about everything you did. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was doing. Like, I, I don't care yeah. about what your friends do or what people, famous people you saw, like... I, I also about- just like don't give a shit at all like even if you were there I don't care no I know but I would rather <laughs> like, hear stories that you're in that are about you yeah than, like if I'm like oh my god my sister got to interview John Cena in London and then yeah. they're just staring at me and I'm all do you know who John Cena is like, I also I actually love John Cena so yeah then I we're go- big fans yeah yeah no exactly that's a good point so that's what I, mean. I always find that a little odd when people do stuff like that. But I think it's just because he is embarrassed, like maybe a little bit insecure or something. Yeah, it's, but a, it's just like a... It's a dick measuring thing, like you were saying. It's a dick measuring. Yeah. It's just to like be impressive. Wait, okay, but so I, tell us right. But I also think too, like, I don't know. I just like, I can't stand a name dropper. Like, I don't... Yeah. I don't, don't care. <laughs> Where's Rick? That's me talking about the lady who's going to bring my pizza. Bro, remind you, before we get to that event, because we like grossly misjudged what the event was <laughs> yeah uh drew and billy both took eddie's before we got there because i thought i was gonna be alone in my room we thought basically we thought it was gonna be a party and it was like a really romantic lit nice <laughs> quiet dinner <laughs> that's exactly and it, we were like oh with people we should not have been around no at all so we were like let alone under the influence. so we thought it was a party it wasn't it was what i just said a romantic it dinner. was an intimate dinner a romantic intimate dinner <laughs> drew and billy both took eddie's i didn't smoke before because i was nervous and i was like oh if i drink then i'd rather drink this well once i took once i popped the eddie i can't unpop it so yeah. i was like uh-oh anyway so that's so it those kicked, are the vibes set ki- the scene and it kicked in while he's talking to us anyways so he's telling us a story about this famous person anyway so he's like i don't know if you guys are big fans of cars <laughs> and then we all go no not really Mm -hmm. and he goes well he pulls up in this car Mm -hmm. and again i don't know dick about cars he goes and then drew i'll swallow uh yeah like i have literally said i fucking hate when people want to name drop so they say the first name so like let's just say it's Gigi hadid and they'll be like and then Gigi hadid yeah i kind of fucking figured (laughs) gorgeous yeah i kind of fucking figured Gigi, good good love her mm-hmm. yeah i kind of figured like when you're talking about it like you don't need to say it. anyways he did that the whole fucking conversation anyways so he's telling us about this famous person pulling up in this car and then he goes it's literally a fucking i don't even know it's a it's a iphone 15 mr6 ak47 all white and then he goes and then get this this is a verbatim quote get this pulls it in the driveway and he, I'm not kidding, that inflection. And pause for effect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pause for laughter. It's like that meme that was like, he's like, he tells a joke at, at stand-up and nobody laughs. And yeah. he goes, let me just look at my notes. Yeah, says, what I was laughing at that said, hold on, really relish in that laughter. Oh, man, you're killing no it. he has no other jokes written down because <laughs> he was so confident about that one. No, exactly. Pulls it in the driveway. No response. The three of us are like going, okay. And he goes, no. And then what did I? No, I know. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> the driveway. And then we're all just staring because I don't understand and I'm high off my ass. So I'm trying really hard and to he, concentrate. Like, in this car, there's only 200 of them. Yeah, in the 200 world. in the world. <laughs> and then Jason, and he goes, in the driveway again. And then Jason goes, okay no we were all like okay and he goes you're not supposed to they're really low to the ground so you're not supposed to pull them in the driveway and then daisy goes well then where do they park it and then he just kept talking ignored her completely <laughs> just the kept amount talking. of people who have done that to me is crazy <laughs> in this industry <laughs> i don't understand then where do they park it he moves on immediately. i'm sober by the way <laughs> he moves on immediately <laughs> And then she's looking at me going, well, where do they park it? And I go, I don't know. Why? I want to get the joke, too. I don't know. And I don't care. That's how I felt. And then we were like, oh, <laughs> okay. So everyone's like freaking out. Like, how are they going to get the car out of the driveway? How are they going to And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Just drive it out. Here's an idea. <laughs> drive it out of the driveway. 
What do you mean it's low to the ground? How does he drive it, period? <laughs> what the fuck does the driveway have to do with well, it? Well, like, all driveways are like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're elevated. All driveways are like... <laughs> I don't care. That's why I feel like, oh, I wish we could tell you guys the other story. Then he told us another story, which he did not think we were going to laugh at because it was embarrassing for him. <laughs> and I didn't know that he thought we weren't going to laugh at it. And we did. And then he was like... <laughs> Yeah, like we laughed so hard, and I wish I could tell you it, but I can't. What's the um SpongeBob joke where you go, where they're like, "Oh man, this guy stinks." What is he saying? This, oh brother. No, what is SpongeBob saying? He goes, and then what do you call them? <clears throat> um, like what is his? What is he saying? Like the awful joke he's making when he's saying, "Oh brother, this guy stinks." He's talking about Squidward. At oh the okay. Show. Oh, I'm thinking of a different. Yeah, you're thinking of a different. I know what you're saying. Uh, I know what you're describing, though. Yeah, I, it sounds familiar. There's a t- I've seen it as a TikTok song, but they put that oh man, and then he goes, six- he goes, Bang! yeah, like that. <laughs> what is he saying? Do you remember? That's how that guy sounded telling us both of those stories. Pulls it in the driveway. But he, yeah, he told us a story where he literally got moted, and it was so funny. Duh. And I wish we could tell you guys it, but we can't. I hate to be that guy, but it was so funny, and it has become one of our current bits. <laughs> The way I tell that story to anyone who will listen to yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, get this. Did you tell Alex the story? No, I haven't told I can't yet. wait to watch you tell her the story. Her and, <laughs> I know. Her and Steven. I can't wait to watch them. Oh, my God, Even dude. when we were telling Adam the story, the next day, he was, we were laughing he so hard. He was dying because it's our kind of humor. Yeah. Like, he got moated so bad, and <laughs> that is hilarious. hilarious. And honestly, when he was telling it to us, I was like, Sounds like they got you. <laughs> Sounds like you got fucking God, bro. We, yeah, we didn't laugh at the driveway story, but we laughed at that one. And he was like, oh, like, gross. That's why I said he misjudged the crowd <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah, wrong group. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, wrong group. If you want to tell those two stories, yeah. go ahead and shop them around at the other <laughs> tables. Go workshop them a little bit more. Just like, no, these, and then he these was. Like- <laughs> <laughs> these nuts. Um, <laughs> I wish we could tell you guys that story too, but we can't um what was i gonna say he also that guy he was like absolutely convinced that him and i have met and hung out before and i was like i've never <laughs> seen you before the funniest part about that is when people do that today is she literally goes people do that to me a lot oh, yeah a lot and she goes i don't know because <laughs> like she said no three times already and she's like i'm not gonna sit here and like convince you I, so like he literally three separate times in the conversation was like we have to have met like he's still doing mm-hmm. it to her and then she kept going no i don't think so she did it three fucking times Mm -hmm. and then the last time he goes i know for a fact we've met and then she goes i don't know (laughs) she just i don't want to talk anymore he just doesn't want to talk i don't want to talk anymore i'm not gonna sit here and like convince you i know that i have not met you i haven't met you yeah and then sometimes people say that to me um but uh, the only time like now but the only times they've said that to me is when they like they recognize me but they don't want to tell me that yeah no i know like they don't want to tell me from where so they just like make me do it which is annoying especially like women who are older than you they'll be like we definitely were in high school together like did we go to high school together what year did you graduate that's what you should ask them that should be the first question (laughs) well you're (laughs) in your 50s so i doubt it 19 nope haven't met you (laughs) it's definitely not high school that's what i was like i've literally had women and this is not me stereotyping or being mean like they're like in their 40s 50s yeah tell me that like they're like did 19 we like, did we go to like high school together which honestly kind of hurts my feelings <laughs> like and then i always go i don't think so because what they want is like um like i'll pretend to be one i'll be like oh my god like i'm serving you at something yeah i recognize you did we go to high school together i don't think so no i think we did i think we did yeah high school yeah i don't know went to high school yeah wait no you're that girl online yeah that they will or they want you to say you it's probably one of those, from tiktok it's literally like a wattpad fan fiction where like you don't recognize harry styles and he's intrigued by that yeah that's how it feels and for some reason it's always a server dude i just saw a meme the other day that said happy i've had Mo- men do that to me too actually happy mother's day to all the moms whose mafia boss is harry styles in one direction like you know they would write <laughs> fan fictions like that and like, she had to who give do you, you up? think gave you the teeth <laughs> who do you think gave you the heart <laughs> who do you think gave you the hair and he's bald <laughs> dude those make me laugh every time 
Who do you think gave you the teeth, love? <laughs> we always have love on the end. <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh. Anyways. What else is new? Nothing much. What, oh, no. I just I talked about the one thing I watched. And I've been watching basketball. That's it. I haven't been watching anything. I've been working all day, coming home, working again, and then falling asleep fully clothed on my couch. And then waking up, do it again. And then I and then I wake up at three in the morning, and then I have to trudge to my room, brush my teeth, take all my makeup off, lay down, can't sleep. Yeah. Because I slept for like six hours. <sighs> then you double it and give it to yourself the next day. Yeah. And I've just been a creature of the night for the last, like, fucking four or five days. But thankfully, we're at the end. You so. guys, literally, yesterday, Drew said, because I, I have a new crush, but my old crush, Drew said, she sounds like when Tarzan talks to the humans for the first time. Like, learns learns how to talk to humans. And then I got really like, embarrassed. Like, when Tarzan goes to the new world, and then he's like, me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Embarrassed immediately. Also, why did he talk like that? But Turk had perfect vernacular. Because only he could understand Turk, so he's speaking. That's true, monkey. monkey. Guys, we're super into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Chat, get into it, okay? Yeah. Study up, <laughs> do your homework, okay? <laughs> we're super into Planet of the Apes. We're all go we're gonna talk about it every week until the fixation dies, okay? I just told it's you guys in the last up. episode they're making five more of these movies, and we're Excited. All going to watch them. We're excited. Okay, I have to Put watch it the third. on the cow. I gotta watch the third one, and then we'll watch the fourth one together. Yeah, I know. I gotta watch. I honestly have to watch the second one, the one that you just watched, because I don't remember that one as much. But I remember War of the Planet of the Apes. I didn't finish the end of it, but I can assume what happened. I'll probably finish it. They're all on, um, I think on HBO. No, one of Disney, those Disney Plus. Oh, sorry, yeah. that's what they're I mean. all on Disney Plus. Well, it's also like uh, that's the one with Kobo, right? The second yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, and he was like coba weaker and then he has a son and another baby blue eyes yeah yeah he creeps me out yeah i'm not a big fan not a fan it makes me laugh because like obviously they didn't get to pick their names like they're going off the names that were given to them so that one like crusty gray one that he kind of <laughs> has beef with in the first one that's coba no not coba his name's rocket oh they become friends like like rocket like that's oh that's the one that was in the sanctuary with him yeah, yeah, I'm saying yeah, the, yeah i said that crusty gray one he's like looks like et when he's crusty yeah. were you guys scared of that too i like really liked that movie because i always wanted to have a little friend like that and then i saw the part where he gets crusty and i couldn't watch it anymore and he's like uh, yeah and he's white why, like why does he look like that He's all dehydrated. He has hypothermia. <laughs> He's dehydrated. He needs a me Pedialyte. When, me when I don't have Pedialyte in my house. <laughs> he needs a Pedialyte. Get him a liquid IV now. Me when I don't have any more electrolytes. He does a brand deal with those IV people that help with the hangovers. Or he goes to Coachella, the liquid IV tent. <laughs> Jack Harlow's performing ETs there. He's doing, he's doing the silent disco at the fucking Sahara tent. <laughs> <laughs> he's riding the ferris wheel and taking pictures in front of the art he's like thanks so he's doing this with the celsius cans dude you guys boomer Look what I i'm so sorry but boomerangs are cringy i don't give a fuck i can't do it it's bad the only time i use i've used boomerangs in the last few years have been for pr and it's mostly just so i can get all of it okay but i, I don't do it anymore i don't care about those and i don't care if like people want to do them with their drinks like i'm not going to post that but if people want to take them <laughs> that's fine if it's a a, a video a boomerang of your face i hate that sorry oh like when you're going mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. oof 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 peace and love though <laughs> sending love and light though if you like those <laughs> we probably went to high school together <laughs> that would make sense yeah i could see that nine i think i graduated in 1990 oh that wasn't me well they're like i think did we go to college together in the 1960s i don't think so oh no well i don't think i was even born when you were in college <laughs> those are jokes i say to adam all the i time. wasn't even an angel in heaven yet is that yeah what he says? adam literally goes i wasn't even a twinkle in my mom's eye yet <laughs> he's so fucking annoying speaking of people i want to kill yeah add him to the list dude too. i literally text him a video of me because i was like so i've been trying to wear my hair up and i told uh -huh. him i know i'm not bald but how do i avoid my hair like separating right here and he sent me the meanest text. I wish I could read it out loud to you, but I will not. 
Anyways, we're doing a part three. This is the final installment of Drew describing movies to Dayson. Woo! Yeah. We're going to do five more and then we're done. All right. Okay. Well, this one is from Thazine. That's a very beautiful name. I think that's so sick. Thazine. That's so sick. And she wants me to describe this. Okay. Do it fast. Classic case of colonialism. Okay. Gentrification, if you will. Mm -hmm. Someone is taken from their home, brought to a new world. Tarzan? No. Okay. That doesn't happen in Tarzan. Um, okay. Tarzan's already living there. I'm thinking... If anything, he was gentrifying the forest. I'm thinking when they take him from the forest to... No, he willingly goes to the new world with Jane. Okay. (laughs) Hey, did you guys ever play the Tarzan video game? I think about that video game all the time. Yeah, where you collect the little bananas. Yeah, the Game Boy one. But I'm also thinking of, like, the PlayStation 2 one. Oh, Where you could surf down the... Those, like... Those little rivers? Or, yeah. Or, like, those tree branches. You know, he he does that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's sick. Anyways. So, uh, he's brought to the new world. He. Well, actually, he... Mm, There's a she in there, too. But, anyways... They're, they are brought to the new world and they're to serve a purpose and the people who brought them need them desperately to uh, help them achieve a goal. And when they're hanging out, <laughs> they get tired of being, uh, of being in the, in the new world. They're, they're sick of it. They're over it. And they're like, you know what? I've had enough. And they decide to start a new world start a new but in order to start a new one gotta ruin the old one so they inevitably and unintentionally on some ends start a war and (laughs) they is this a cartoon no okay have i seen this humans yeah and they rise up and they they say no more we're not doing it anymore. And they they rebel against their their colonists, colonizers. They rebel against them. Okay. The people that stole them? Yep. Okay. They rebel against them. They take over. Uh-huh. And they establish a new world order. But then there's dissension in their own ranks. So then they got to they got to fix their own house before they go into someone else's. Okay. So then they, they have to deal with their own internal problems, and then they go back to fighting the other people. And I'd like to think that they come out on top. Mm. But the series is not finished yet, so I cannot say for sure. Hmm. <laughs> it's not a cartoon. Are they animals? Mm-hmm. Oh, they are? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's CGI. It's not cartoons. Is it Planet of the Apes? Yeah. Oh, it is? <laughs> Which one is that? It says Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So okay, that's the first, the first one. one. Okay. Yeah. And it says, I loved when you guys talked about it playing all the time in hotels because that's so true. That's the first one, right? No. Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying the first one in the Google Sheet. Why'd you say there was a boy and a girl? We because, just watched that one. Because Caesar is in his mom's belly. I they know. didn't know she was pregnant. They kill the mom. He survives. And then he raises him. That's why I said that. Okay. Girl and a boy. Okay. Girl pregnant with boy. Girl pregnant with boy. Girl die. Boy live. Boy live. Boy overtake human. Boy becomes powerful. <laughs> Remember when he said that joke in the last episode about the orangutan always staring? He cursed me out. Kill him. And he's like, careful. They know like smart monkey. Yeah. Oh, I'm killing you. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kill it. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This is from KJ. And Off she... <sighs> Better not be. <laughs> <laughs> Just Stupid. Kidding. And okay, this is her selection. So we have a girl. Uh, she is a teenage girl. She's just living her teenage life. Okay. Um, she's got a bestie. Her and bestie, um, like in high school, they, they, they've been best friends forever. And her bestie's having a birthday party. 
and she wants to go to it, but she has um, some other things she has to take care of first. So she's like rushing because she doesn't want to be late. And then uh, she also, her work tends to distract her from her friends, right? And she's trying to be a good friend, but she's also trying to work because her job is very important. Have I seen this? Yes. Okay. So her, uh, she goes shopping before her bestie's birthday, and then um, she gets into a bit of an altercation before, um, which then makes her even later. And then when she does show up at bestie's birthday, um, she tends to pull focus a little too easy, and her friend gets a little a, a little upset because she's taking attention away from her on her big day, and so then she feels bad. But then she has to fly somewhere the next day for work. And then, you know, when she's getting ready to go to work, her uh, dad is like, well, what about these other plans we have with family? And she was like, I don't give a fuck. And then he's like, you should give a fuck because that's your family. And she's like, I have work to do, dad. (laughs) Like, literally eat a dick. She tells her dad to shove it. So she's going to to the work thing regardless. And then on her way there... She lands and then she finds out she's not at work. She's back with her family. She's been duped, right? Gets out. She's like, what is this? Her dad is like, you need to spend time with family. And she's like, what the fuck? Right? Like she's super like, dad. I've never seen this movie. Yeah, you have, dude. I'm, I'm intentionally being vague. Otherwise, you guess too fast. Anyways, so then he's like, she's like, well, guess what? I'm not going to hang out with family. And then he's like, all right, then walk back. And he gets in the truck and he fucking leaves her. Oh, the Hannah Montana movie. Period. Period. Remember when she takes off her wig and she's like. Mm -hmm. And then her hair's, uh, all her extensions are perfectly straightened. But for some reason, her real hair is not. Uh Uh-oh. Her layers. Wrong. Those front, those front, like, she has, like, literally an A-line bob, and then she has 26-inch <laughs> extensions in her hair. Then she rides bareback with a man. Hey, no. Hate that. Hate that. Also, she, like, tries to mount her fucking horse, like, you know what I mean? Bareback. And then gets bucked from it, first of all. How did she not break anything? Yeah, like, how did she survive that? Because it looked like it hurt. And then he's like, oh, it's fine. You could just ride bareback behind me. As if that's not harder. I bet her I bet her stomach was cramping. Because she was sitting like this the whole time, you know? Trying to be cool. When you know when you like sit too wide, like you can get cramps like in your hips. I was yeah. That too. Yeah. And then she's like trying to sit upright and like arch a little bit. Tooch a little. Tooch. <laughs> Tooch on the bareback horse. She has that she has that like arch on her bathroom counter. <laughs> when she's sitting like when you're taking a mirror pick. <laughs> she's sitting uh, bareback on a fucking when they horse. They stand and like twist their feet. <laughs> yeah, she's sitting. She's sitting bareback on a horse named Blue Jeans. Hey, what a stupid name for a horse! I don't want to tell you how to name your horse. I thought you would recognize your own horse when you see it. Wow, girl can't even recognize her own horse. Also, I like how they try to act like she's so blue collar when she has her own horse. And like twenty acres of yeah, land. Yeah, they're like she's just like everybody else. And then and then and then Rascal Flats? Dude, that I was just gonna say, God, hey. God bless the broken road. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Them sitting and doing a little fucking po dunk, whatever the fuck, like Appalachian <laughs> like <laughs> little jam sesh on the porch. <laughs> it's, it's Rascal Flats. <laughs> With like an empty milk jug. <laughs> <laughs> spoons <laughs> a washboard <laughs> that's how i see all countries. <laughs> they the they look like the country bears <laughs> <laughs> literally that was a horrifying movie yeah like ew like kill them <laughs> and like kill it i don't know kill it me uh talking about cam cameron on <laughs> some right <laughs> from Brady. i don't give a fuck <laughs> hey I hate him. (laughs) Kill him off. I don't care. (laughs) Oh, my sister is a DJ. Okay. I'm like, this, I can't stress to you how badly I don't give a fuck. (laughs) That whole scene, I was annoyed. (laughs) Me just fast forwarding it. (laughs) Also, chat, what the fuck 
is with the summer I turned pretty not coming back till next year. I know. What the fuck is that? They haven't filmed the bear fast enough to get out another season this year. <sighs> I can only imagine that you're in rewrites right now because you're writing in some roles for the two of us. If that's the case, and that's fine, I, I understand. You. I forgive you, but make it fucking snappy. The way I can't believe they're not. I can't believe that. I can't believe they're not coming out with it. Yeah, I'm annoyed. Anyways, I think they're doing like eleven episodes though. I think usually they do eight. So there's like a little bit more. And if it doesn't have the ending I want, I don't care. I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see <laughs> this is literally from alex <laughs> alex i'm gonna ban you from the yeah. google sheet chat ban alex <laughs> chat go ahead and ban alex okay alex wants me to describe this one okay so we got um a normal girl and she's going to college right and she's a little uptight is this that um that movie we watched with her? What movie? Is it a beautiful disaster? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she wrote beautiful disaster, Cole Sprouse movie. <laughs> Alex It's definitely Dylan Sprouse, by the way. <laughs> it is Dylan Sprouse. That's so funny. <laughs> that movie What a ride. When she's kissing the, his neck. The, from behind. <laughs> Dude. That was so funny. When she flips him around so his butt's on her front. What's going on <laughs> in the shower? What's going on? <laughs> His butt is on her front. What the are you doing? Way, the way that they portray, like, that type of dynamic, which is just, like, a feral, like, carnal desire, like, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Where it's, like, oh, it's it's purely carnal, like attraction and yeah. then they throw shit like that in there yeah hey what are you talking about and he was like calling her pigeon i was like what is this movie <laughs> and she's a fucking shark in the in the fucking casino yeah this bitch is a number a, a, card, a card counter shark. yeah she's a fucking she's literally a poker connoisseur yeah hello and then you get and then also how smart can you really be if you get tricked by your your fucking dad? Yeah. Your stupid ass drug addict There's also dad. A, we have to watch the second one. Yeah. Yeah. I fear I'm going to need to watch it. <laughs> we have to. Just like that Anne Hathaway movie. I I fear I need to watch it. I everyone's been saying it's really good, but you guys also lie all the time. So, well, I've seen real like it, the reviews that are saying it's good. It's like good for the same reasons that we think those movies are good and it's just for the like <laughs> part of it yeah like there's a lot of moments like that in like there. you know there's like that part where he's performing and then he winks at her and then she like she's like <laughs> so yeah was like that yeah. was i literally thought 13 year old me this was gonna be me at harry styles yeah like people are like me when i shave my puss going to the yeah and i'm 13 <laughs> at the fucking take me home tour that's crazy you guys if i could go back in time to anything i would want to go see the five seconds of summer one direction tour of course you would. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, you did a real weird thing with hey, five songs. I'm a lesbian, by the way. They all look like lesbians to me. Hey, I'm gay, by the way. <laughs> Remember when I said that Michael Clifford looks like the dad possum from Over the Hedge? Chat. Am I wrong? <laughs> I only tell jokes and truths. That's all I really do. And that happens to be two in one. <laughs> he <stupid>. does. <gasps> <laughs> That's actually one of the movies on here. Someone over said hedge. Over the Hedge. Dude, do you guys remember? What's that one movie with that bear and the little elk he's friends with? Dude. Open Season. That's Open what's called. Season. Yeah. Boog. Mm -hmm. We still, to this day... <laughs> If me and Dason wear a backpack that's, like, too small or something, or something's too small, we're literally like, dude, I look like Boog. I'm not kidding. We still say that to this day. I was just going to say that. Because <laughs> I bought, like, a... 
there was an app i can't remember the name of it every <laughs> bitch on youtube did an ad with them it was the so much like thread up or something it honestly oh, might have yeah. been thread up i don't think it like, was that like renting or no you, or you would, get like a mystery box it or was something. like a thrifting website yeah. so that's what i'm saying it's like thread up where you're like like gotcha. buying like used clothes yeah um and i bought this tiny backpack because i thought it was really cute and then i remember showing drew and i was like does it look too small on my back though and she said, does it look like Boog from Open Season? Maybe a little bit, but I don't think that's your fault. <laughs> the backpack's just too small. Dude, I fucking look like Boog. <laughs> <laughs> also, what a cute pet name. Boog. Boog. That's cute. Also, the way that they, the food that they used to eat, like his little snacks and stuff. His little chocolate bars. They yeah. looked fire. That movie is so funny. That's how I feel about the pizza in the Goofy movie. I want to eat that yeah, so bad. I feel that. Everyone's like, oh, when he does the spray cheese, that's gross. I don't even want to eat that in real life. No, the pizza. No, the pizza's for sure. Dude, there's some on here that I'm like, you guys think way too highly of me. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like a rival or like interstellar. No, like here. Monty Python. Like, I have not seen those. I've seen the King Arthur one. Oh, this is a good one. And the Holy the Grail one. I forget what it's called. Go ahead. Okay, this is from Rosa. Okay. Rosa Maria. And she says... Oh, yeah, she has uh, this movie. Okay, so this is an old movie. Like like a Disney Channel original movie. Okay. Um, and it's about a kid. And he's... I, I want to say they're in high school or maybe like late middle school. You know how like, we used to think Lizzie McGuire was in high school, but she's not? Yeah. Um, I literally saw a TikTok that said someone said that all Gen Z they dress like side characters from Brink and it made me laugh really hard. T. And someone commented they're all soul skaters. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, this guy has, uh, and I'm like I like loosely remember the plot. I know I've seen it, but haven't seen it forever. But it's a the main kid. He's got two besties, a girl and a boy, and for some reason his best guy friend only wears a bathrobe i was i as soon as you said he had two best friends of boy and girls like, oh it's max keeble's big move yeah yeah <laughs> i liked that movie but there's a part where robe throws up and i hate it so yeah I, there I is can only yeah. watch parts of it the way that that was like obviously a fat phobia thing yeah like they're like is get it because he doesn't fit in anything put him in a bathrobe yeah the way they made that like the cookie monster pajamas yeah they just make him a big gross guy like and get this you wear a bathrobe to school every day because you hate your body <laughs> get it? everybody calls you robe and then you throw up because you eat too much because you're gross because you're a big fatty yeah people don't talk about that movie enough <laughs> that little kid was in a lot of movies the yeah little, wasn't he in called... blank check no no that was a different kid, kid. dude i i do remember that movie though that's a good movie <laughs> in what world would a little kid be able to cash a million dollar check or whatever the fuck he did for real when he built like a water slide into his room i was like wait I want to let go. him cook i want to go to there do you remember the movie was it called paper boys or like paper route not punks but there was one where it was like he had like rivals and they were all like paper boys like they the <laughs> i don't i can't remember it's, sometimes i feel like i made that movie up but if i find it one day guys i'll let you know what it's called go ahead <laughs> see we're gonna do one more guys and then we're wrapped okay okay this one i genuinely haven't seen i i feel like you have okay um okay this is from hannah and <laughs> okay so we got two people uh it's unclear to me if they were single in the movie at all i i only remember that they are a couple at some point and they're both they both have big dreams of being in showbiz and i i think they meet because they're both trying to make it i think okay and uh they uh one of them's an actress and one of them is a musician and they're both trying to make it in the big city and they link up and they're like i'm really digging your me and my friend are really digging your vibes we should hang and then they're like okay cool let's do it and they start spending a lot of time together and they i think fall in love and then as they continue through their journey in the entertainment industry uh, they start to uh, wonder 
if they're really cut out for it because they can't seem to make it like cut out for show business or for each other both they're realizing both simultaneously okay are these animals no okay they're humans okay it's, so it's, it's a boy not saying it's a boy and a girl <laughs> cats the way you guess sing for everything when they say they're animals well oh sing <laughs> the first one is so good or zootopia <laughs> or trolls <laughs> yeah. no uh so she's an actress he's a musician and then he really wants to start um like a business to like uh showcase his m- musicality uh but he's struggling and then she's also struggling to like m- get any really good roles and then he uh decides to start doing something else uh playing music but it's like sellout shit that he used to talk shit on and then she is like mm, you're a fucking sellout like why don't you start uh the business that you wanted to start and he's like cuz nobody gives a fuck and then she's like that's not true like people would give a fuck if you started it and then he's like mm, what do you know you're a failed actress and then she's like that's fucking mean and then he ends up i think starting his business and then she still can't make it and then they she ends up coming to terms with the fact that she's a big loser because she can't make it is this la la land (laughs) (laughs) drew that is not what happens in la la land (laughs) at all what did i miss that she becomes famous but he doesn't well you didn't let me finish actually you guys i don't even know if that happens i forget <laughs> that's what i'm saying they end up breaking up because they both get too jealous of each other at different points if i remember i don't think that's what happened. and i say if i remember as if i saw it and i didn't as if i <laughs> from what i remember from how i haven't seen it i from what i remember from, from my very, assumptions from the very loose descriptions i've gotten and from other people, people lo- i'm gonna try and watch it again because i remember i went to the theaters to watch it and i did not like it yeah they got great chemistry though like i do no, love I the so two of them. i'm telling you i'm gonna rewatch it and give it a give it a go i also i can't wait to date someone who likes to watch movies because dating someone who doesn't and i take them with me and they don't like the movie or whoever we're doing concerts it's awful yeah. um so like moonlight i remember watching at home and i sobbed every time i think about that movie i cry it's well, like too much for me because yeah. it's like every time i watch it i feel so heavy after because it's so sad but la la land i was kind of like whatever but people love that movie so i'm gonna give it another shot guys I know. i'll try it out again i'll try it out again i know there's a white people like i'm sure movie. i'm sure y'all will tell me <laughs> if i was close or not that's what i was like listening and i go i there's no way that's La La Land. That's so funny. And then at the very end, she wanders into a random jazz club. No, she's famous. So that's why they're saying it. it I know, but I'm... mimics them in real life. How, especially this last Oscars, um, she won again, but he didn't. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, she won and then for La La Land. And, and then, then he's playing the piano. And yeah. then they gaze longingly at each other with the understanding that they both appreciate where they're at now, but they're no longer together. That I do remember. From the clip I saw on TikTok. <laughs> like the, and that monologue when they're fighting and she goes, people will come because because you're passionate about it and people like to watch people who are passionate. That's exactly how it sounds. Okay. Clock it. Someone literally DM me and said that my cat Henry looks like Emma Stone and it made me laugh really hard because he does. And that's T. Um, but anyways, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. We hope you enjoyed it. couple reminders. Don't forget, we're going on tour. Woo! LA is fully sold out, but go visit Drew's website. It's always in the um, description. description box. Uh, get Drew's book. Sign up for our Patreon. We will have an exclusive vlog going live on our Patreon of our vacaciones that are coming up. Yes. We're, this, we're filming this all in the past, so that's why hopefully it's out by the time this comes out. And if it's not, it's coming out soon. You'll see it. Yeah. But other than that, uh, you can listen to our podcast. Everyone can listen to the podcast. And the video version is always on our YouTube channel. We love you and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.